welcome. This video, what we're going to do is look at finding the equation of a straight line, which is part of the National 5 curriculum. Normally what happens here is you're given two coordinates, or two sets of coordinates, and you've got to work out what the equation of the straight line is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some examples to show you how to do that, and I'm going to use a four-step guide here. So this is a typical example of the type of question you can expect to see. It's asking us to find the equation of the line joining the points negative 5, 2 and negative 3, 10. So we just go through this four-step guide in order to be able to do it. First thing we do is establish the two sets of coordinates. We've got them there. And we label them x1, y1 and x2, y2. So I'm just going to write it underneath. So it's x1, y1 and that's x2, y2. So we use this formula. It's m equals y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1 in order to establish the gradient. So m is equal to y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1. And all we do there is just substitute in the values. So y2 is 10. We take away y1, which is 2. And then we do x2, which is negative 3, take away x1, which is negative 5. Then we've got 10 take away 2, which is 8. We've got negative 3 take away negative 5. That becomes positive 2. If you struggle with that, there's another video about adding and subtracting negative numbers that you can have a look at. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our gradient is 4. So this is done in step 2. We're now on to step 3, where we relabel one of the sets of coordinates A and B. So I'm going to go with this one here. So I'm going to, I'll just write it down here. Negative 5, 2, and I'll just label it AB. And then we substitute the gradient, which is this number, and AB, which is these ones, into this formula here to find the equation of the straight line. So it's y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. So we just substitute these values in. So b is 2, so it's y minus 2 equals 4 bracket x minus a, which is negative 5. And because that's negative 5, taking away a negative becomes plus. And then we just multiply it out. So we've got y minus 2 equals, it's going to become 4x plus 20. And then to get rid of this negative 2 on this side, we add it positively to that side. So we get y equals 4x plus 22. And there's our answer. I'm going to go through another example with you. So we'll take you on to the second example here where we're finding the equation of the line joining the points, and this time we've got 7, negative 1, and 0, 13. So the first thing we do is label them x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. So we've got x1, y1, x2, y2. Then we use the gradient formula. So we use m equals y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1. And this is going to get us the gradient. So y2 is 13, take away y1, which is negative 1. And we put that over x2, which is 0, take away x1, which is 7. The top line is going to become 14. And the bottom line is going to become negative 7. So 14 divided by negative 7 is going to be negative 2. So that's the gradient. Now, in step three, we've got to relabel one of the sets of coordinates, a, b. So I'm going to go with this one here. So 0, 13, we'll call it a and b. So we've got the a and b, and we've got the m value, the gradient. So now, we substitute the gradient and a, b into this formula into the y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. So 
y minus 13 equal the gradient, which is negative 2, x minus, and it's just 0. And then we've got y minus 13 equals minus 2x, and then that just disappears, so it's just going to become minus 2x. Because minus 2 times 0 disappears. And then in the next line down, I'm just going to carry this over, so it's, it's going to be y is the subject to the formula. So it's negative 2x plus 13. And that's an answer. I'm going to do one more. So this is now our third and final example. So we're just going to go through the four-step guide once again. So we're finding the equation of the line joining the points. This time it's 0, negative 5 and 2, negative 11. So the first step is to establish the two sets of coordinates and label them x1, y1 and x2, y2. So use the m equals y2 to take away y1 over x2 to take away x1 to get the gradient. So y2 is negative 11 and we take away negative 5 and that's over 2 take away 0. Negative 11 take away negative 5 so it becomes plus 5 I'll end up with negative 6, and that's just over positive 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So the gradient is negative 3. So we've got this point, we've got the gradient there. Now we relabel one of the sets of coordinates a, b. So I'm going to go with this one here. So we've got 0, negative 5, call that a and b. And then I'm going to substitute the a, b and the gradient into this formula. So y minus b equals m, x minus a. So we just put y minus, so it's negative 5, equals negative 3, bracket, x take away 0. That's just going to become y plus 5. And then when I multiply that out, I'll get negative 3x. And the 0 will disappear because negative 3 times 0 is just 0. And then I want y on its own, so I just carry that over to that side. So it's just going to be y equals negative 3x take away 5. And that's our answer there. I will just point out at this stage that sometimes you might be given the gradient and just one set of coordinates. In which case you can just start from here. So this, if you already have the gradient, you can just start from here where you label one of the points A and B, you've got the gradient, and you just go basically downwards from here. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. Please like, please subscribe, feel, please feel free to suggest any other National 5 maths videos or higher maths videos you'd like to see. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!